Hey guys, Mrs. C here. I uh, just wanted to take a minute and go over what we did this week, cycle one, week three. Sorry that I'm in the car. We are running tons of errands today, and I apologize about the background noise. I'm entertaining my children with an um, in-flight movie. <laughs> so, anyway, so for this week we had um, the Hebrew Empire for geography. So um, it is the blown-up square part on our map. So we went over that. I did them slightly out of order just to make sure that it was easier for the kids to find. So we had Phoenicia, then Israel, then Judah, then um, Sea of Galilee, Jordan River, and Dead Sea. And then I also taught them some hand motions, which um, I kind of got from CC Happy Mom, but I didn't do the song. I just kind of used her motions. So we had Phoenicia, Israel, Judah, and then we had Sea of Galilee, Jordan River, and Dead Sea. So again, that was Phoenicia, Israel, Judah, Sea of Galilee, Jordan River, and Dead Sea. Um, so we went over those. I gave them uh, little toothpicks to use as pointers. So um, they, because sometimes when you're pointing with your finger, you're kind of like covering up half of what you're looking at on the map on these maps. So um, I gave them toothpicks to use um, to point, and they seemed to think that was pretty fun. So we pointed and just um, did, you know, our say and repeat with that. So that was what we did for geography. Um, for prepositions, I'm continuing um, on with our hand motions for prepositions. I'm hoping that in a couple weeks maybe we can start using the song. But we had, oh sorry, I'll punch the camera. We have a long, so you're just going to run your hand along your arm, a long. And we had a mid, so you need two fingers, and like you're in something, a mid. Little circles among, big circles, around, at, a top. So you're going to top your head and kind of put your hand on your hip, okay? So do this again. Along, amid, among, around, at, atop. All right, so those were our prepositions this week. Um, for science, uh, we again just jumped on the um, agility ladder, which some of you have asked what an agility ladder is. So. Um, if you've ever seen videos of like football players or soccer players doing footwork and they've got like almost looks like a rope ladder laid out on the ground and they're just kind of taking their feet in and out, that's an agility ladder. So it's basically uh, a ladder that you lay out on the ground. You don't have to use that. You can easily put like some pieces of tape for them to jump over. Um, I caution using like something laminate and putting it on the floor just because it's slippery. But um, I use painter tape, uh, painter's tape for the first few times that I did it before I had my agility ladder, but um, the agility ladder is just easy to put out and put up. So, uh, so we jumped and we um, said what some parts of the animal cell were down the agility ladder. And every time I said Golgi bodies, everybody had to kind of shake their whole body. So that's what we did for that. Um, for Latin, um, I have, if I can get them here, I have. Um, these laminated worlds that I use and I use them for all kinds of different stuff they're just kind of place markers but I gave everybody one of them here they are there we go one of them um, I got these from the dollar store and then I just laminated them so I gave them one and we use those kind of as our our drumming area and so we just kind of tapped or drummed or patted um, while we were saying them so at first uh, we just said ah i i am ah and then um we switched hands we did little finger taps and then of course at the end i let them bang as loud as they wanted to on the table um for those so these were just our markers to be what our drums were so they were keeping their hands on there uh then let's see for history um i ha also have these i got last year at the dollar store i saw them recently so you might check yours and see if you have them. They're really great for the history sentences. Um, they are these little guitars. So this song kind of worked really well for those because it has the nice guitar in it. So we just strummed our guitars and sang the song. The I did sing. Um, it's on the remote. It was in there. Awesome. Thank you, Henry. Um, I did sing it myself for the first few times just because it's pretty fast. 
and they're kind of some big hard words for the kids um, so I learned it and sang it myself slower and then we sing it with the um, just one time with the CD because it sings it three times on the CD so that was what we did for history um, for math we um, chanted and did our song so for the five since we were chanting and not singing we tried to hold different poses while we chanted to see if we could hold them uh, like the whole time so uh, we did the tree pose where you're standing on one foot and you have your other foot kind of your soles touching your knee and you have your hands like this so we did that and then we did like leaning forward and had our arms out kind of like a superman type pose and then um they were all falling over so i said we good an easy one we just had to hold our arms up um, but I, we just did that a few times. We just did different poses each time as we did um, chanted the fives. And then for the sixes, we sang the song and we jumped because they were asking to jump. So we jumped for the sixes. So let's see. So last we have timeline. So for timeline, um, we have Hinduism. And so um, this is the sign for spirit. Hinduism has a lot to do with the, the spirit. Um, I don't know if they're the reincarnation ones or not, but anyway, so we have Hinduism, it's and then busy. India, we have we point for the bindi dot, then we have Phoenicians, so the Phoenicians were like famous for sailing, so we're going to make a ship, which is three fingers like this, and put it on your hand and sail your ship across the sea, so we have Phoenicians, and the alphabet, so we're going to make an A, A-S-L-A, and a B, um, so Phoenicians, the alphabet, okay. Omex and Mesoamerica, you can do it several different ways I don't there's not a specific sign for this one so um, I think the lady in one of the videos she just goes around her face the other lady is kind of going like this with O's I did this the first year so that's kind of what I still revert to but basically you're just gonna go O and you are emphasizing the head because like on the card they had these huge stone heads so you can do Omex or Omex or Omex however you want to do it in Mesoamerica um, Israel Exodus, so again, there's not a specific ASL sign for Exodus, but we're going to exit and disperse. So sorry, it looks like I'm really coming at you with this. Uh, so Exodus, and then just take your finger like you don't know where you're going, wondering, you're not sure. Exodus and Desert Wondering. Um, Israelite Conquest, so they were conquering people. And judges, and so the lady in black does this in the video. The lady in blue um, takes her hands and goes like this, um, like scales, like you're judging the weight of something. Since I have the little kids, we just did this. So Israelite conquest and judges. We have Greek Dark Ages. That was pretty easy. Greek Dark Ages, and then we're gonna take your middle finger and your thumbs, and you're gonna bring them around and interlock them. And you have Israel's United Kingdom. So they're united and you can't pull them apart. So, uh, yeah, that's what we did for today. Um, for review, for those of you looking for review ideas, um, I found at the dollar store, um, I bought base plates. They're Lego base plates. And I bought several bags of dollar store Legos. And I even bought this at the dollar store and just have a bunch of Legos in here. And I started them off. We sang through the timeline first, and then they got their base plate. And then I gave them um, some Legos to start off with. So um, I will tell you, dollar store Legos are dollar store quality. That's all I'll say. So they were getting a little frustrated. I'm hoping that as they use these a little bit more, they'll be a little bit easier to like, build with. Um, but they were having a hard time stacking them because I said, let's see if we can build a big tower. Um, but then I changed it into like, try to cover your base plate. So this was the one that my son did. He almost got it all covered. Uh, so I think I'll stick with that next time because it was that was a little bit easier than trying to build something because they don't really lock well. They look like they would, but they don't. Um, so that's what we did for a review. And I just sat at the table with them. And we went over it. We listened to the math songs. We listened to the history songs. And... Um, then I uh, got my map out to review and I put I used a little tiny Lego and asked them okay I'm putting the Lego here where am I putting the Lego what's that place called so that's how we reviewed today so anyway yeah that's what we did for week three I can't believe we're already at week three that's like what a, no not a quarter what an eighth there we go <laughs> I homeschool
<laughs> an eighth of the way through the year. So anyway, um, hope you guys have an awesome week. Hope you had a great Labor Day. And um, I will see you back next week. Thanks, guys. Bye.